Hi everyone, welcome to day 3 of 5 days 5 state management library series and today we are going to talk about recoil. So first you will need to install the dependency, so you will need to install this recoil dependency. But one more important thing that this recoil is not compatible with React 19. So if you are using React 19, just make sure you are using some different library. This is a very simple example, so it is going to display whatever you are typing in the text input and also it is going to display the character count. And this example is already given in the recoil documentation, so if you want to read the documentation you can. Now the very first thing that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to wrap my parent component with this recoil root so that other components can have access to the recoil state. Just like Jotai here also we have a concept of atom and what is atom? Atom is a piece of state and this is how you can define an atom using this atom function from recoil. Here you have to pass two things like key and the default value or the default state. Now if you want to modify or uh, access that atom you will need to use this hook called use recoil state and again the syntax is very much similar to use state. This is how you can easily manipulate the atom which you have created. Now the next important concept is selector. Now what is a selector? You can imagine this as it will take the old value and then return the recalculated value to you. So as you can see on my screen it is taking an atom and then it is returning the length of an atom. And every time the atom is changing it will automatically recalculate this uh, length for you. Now I need to access the selector which we have created and for that we have another hook called use recoil value. So in this hook what, we, what you need to do you will need to pass the selector which you have created and then it's done. 